Hey, welcome back to a new week and a new video. This week's video is going to be frequently asked questions that I've received from people who are looking to move to St. Johns County, Florida. And if I do not cover your question in this video, feel free to leave it in the comments below so I can address it in a future video or feel free to reach out via text um, or give me a ring. I'll leave my contact information right here. this is your first time to this channel, I am Melissa Anderson with eXp Realty. I am your St. Johns County, Florida realtor. And each week I try to bring you helpful information about moving to this area. All right, now let's get started. All right, I wanna give a big shout out to Danny. Last week I posed this question in the communities tab on the YouTube channel and he was great. He commented back, he gave me some suggestions for questions that he had. So Danny, I really appreciate you. Thank you for responding. And I'm gonna cover those questions first. So uh, Danny asked, are there any local farmers markets here in, in town? So there's a lot like that cover all of Jacksonville. I'm just gonna cover the ones in St. John's County. One of our biggest ones is the St. Augustine Amphitheater Farmer's Market. And it is every Saturday from 8.30 to 12.30. Um, we're gonna a variety of vendors, produce, seasonal goods, baked goods, um, all those things. And St. Augustine Amphitheater is really nice. Um, we also have like local con or you know concerts there and it's just a really awesome venue. So you'll wanna definitely check that one out. Then we have the Nocatee Farmer's Market, and that is located in the community of Nocatee, and it's every third Saturday from 10 to 1. And they have quite a few vendors that turn out, and there's usually, um, I want to say sometimes there's like a theme to the Farmer's Market. Sometimes they'll have live music, um, but definitely one to check out because it's rather large and a good variety. Then there's the Volano Beach Market, and this is actually a night market. It's held uh, every third Saturday, um, so once a month, but it's night, so 4 to 8 p.m. And again, you can still find uh, fresh produce, all of that types of stuff, and then lots of vendors like local artists. Then one that's really close here is the Beach Walk Farmer's Market. So this one recently started not too long ago. And so it's actually in the Beach Walk community off of County Road 210, which is, you know, also across from uh, Beacon Lake. And that is on the first Saturday of every month from 10 to 2. So they have food, music, um, produce. Okay, another question Danny asked was about, are there like mold issues in homes? And I could see where that would be a concern, uh, a concern, especially like if you, you know, we have our rainy, wet season, maybe, you know, it's humid here. I don't think it's as humid as some climates down south, but, um, you know, we definitely have our humidity. And I would say maybe for older homes, this might be a concern. It's something that you might want to get checked out, especially if there's older windows, um, that you know aren't as energy efficient that could let moisture in um yeah or you know prior leaks anything like that um maybe if the home was uh say in a flood zone and uh yeah i would definitely you know you want to have that inspected but as an i mean overall yeah that's i don't it's not definitely not wet enough or humid enough for that where you're just going to have mold growing in the homes. Um, if you're coming from a location where you're not used to the humidity, you might want to look into getting like a dehumidifier uh, for your home to kind of help control that because you don't want the, you want to keep the humidity levels in your home below 60%. And um, so a dehumidifier can help reduce the moisture. You know, you want to keep your home well ventilated. You also want to make sure that you're servicing your HVAC unit changing out the filters, flushing it every month. And those things will, will definitely, definitely help. Um, another question, and someone posted this question on one of the videos, and that was, 
how much on, you know, how much is like say full-time daycare here? So this is a, just from information I was able to research. And again, this could vary. You, you'll definitely want to call around to different locations, but in St. Jones County, it was looking like the average was 200 to $300 per week for full-time daycare. Property tax increases. Um, if you're coming again, coming from an area, maybe where you're concerned, they continue to hike up the property taxes each, um, each year. So, you know, here in Florida, we have the homestead exemption and it's a tax savings and you'll definitely want to apply if, as long as it's your full-time primary residence, you can apply and you'll want to apply before March 1st of the following year that you've purchased the home. You can apply online or at the property uh, appraiser's office. And once you file for that exemption, um, your home, your the tax you cannot increase by more than say three percent each year. So that's kind of a, a protection there. And then of course, if you have any sort of disability, if you have veteran disability, um, all of those, there's also an additional tax saving, property tax savings that you'll want to look into. And I'll post the link in the description below if you want to check that out even more. Another question that gets brought up a lot is homeowners insurance. What is the average homeowners insurance here in St. John's County? And the average I would say is between 150 and 160 a month. Again, this could vary depending on who your insurance provider is, um, your home's location, you know, there's variables, right? So, but I would say just to give you a number, 150 to 160 is probably about the average for homeowners insurance. All right, and you guys probably already know what this next uh, question I get all the time, and that's hurricanes. <laughs> so I can see where you would be nervous coming from maybe a location that doesn't have hurricanes. And I found a really interesting fact. And so this area, Northeast Florida, which is a massive area, and you guys know I've said like Jacksonville in of itself is the largest city by land, it's the largest in the United States. So, um, land wise. So this area is huge in Northeast Florida. So the hurricane scale, like the category scale was introduced 167 years ago. And this area in 167 years has seen just 26 total hurricanes, including just one single category three in 167 years. So hopefully that kind of eases your nerves a little bit when it comes to that. Um, so we, when was it last hurricane season? We were supposed to have like this massive hurricane. They were like prep, you know, prepping everybody for it. It ended up being just like a tropical storm, uh, just a lot of rain. And um, I know we had neighbors that were just first time here that were really freaking out. Do we need to board the windows? Is it wood? What do we do? Do we need to put all of our stuff away? No, unless you're like on the, I mean, right by the ocean, you really don't need to board your windows. I mean, you'll see what zone you're in, like for flooding or like a hurricane zone. If you're in a, you know, prominent hurricane zone, obviously you'll want to evacuate. Um, but yeah, you won't, yeah, you'll just take precautions that make sense based on the area that you're in. And of course, if, you know, they just make you nervous outright, you can always um, evacuate. But um. I would describe it kind of like maybe if you're especially coming from the Northeast, like what a Nor'easter would be, you know, maybe just period, a long period of time with just constant wind and rain. So just like getting hammered with that wind and rain for, for hours. That's kind of what um, my experience with the hurricanes have been here. And if you're not from here and then you watch the news and you see St. Augustine, yes downtown St. Augustine, you betcha it's going to flood every single time, but they're prepared for that. The water always comes over that seawall. All the businesses know, and within you'll see like it'll be completely flooded and it'll look, just look like everything's ruined, but no, as soon as the water recedes two days later, everything's back open for business. So, 
And again, like I said, you'll want to make sure if you're interested in a certain area or a house that you're looking at, you can see ahead of time if that property is located in a flood zone um, or if you think there's going to be issues with that, like in a hurricane evacuation zone, stuff like that. So definitely something to look into if that makes you nervous. I will say, I think we've lost power once um, when a hurricane has come through and that was bought out for, I think, maybe two and a half days. And then, of course, um, I mean, it's hot here in Florida and, you know, the hurricane season is usually during when it's really warm out. So I was like, let's get, you know, a generator. So now we have pretty much a whole house generator. And since we got that, we've never lost power. <laughs> That's usually how it works, right? So just take that into consideration. All right. Uh, distance to shopping. No, that's another question that's brought up just because if you come to St. John's County and you're looking at these different neighborhoods, especially the newer ones, things seem really spaced out. So we're all, you know, this area is under a growing um, phase. Everything's getting built up. Wherever you choose to live, you're not going to be that far away from a grocery store, which is usually a Publix. However, for like Walmart or Target, um, I would say looking at 20 minutes to get to those types of stores, at least. I think that is about all of the questions that I had recently um, that people brought up. And again, if you have a question that I didn't cover or you'd like more information about, just leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to address it in my next video. I appreciate you sticking around. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button. And until next time.